Hey guys, so a subscriber recently asked me the purpose of this hose and where it connects to. And that is a good question. So let me try to answer that. Okay, so this I believe is called a thermal valve. This basically was vacuum actuated and um, originally I, I modified mine. The previous owner had deleted some of the emission system so I just decided to uh, modify this a little further and just totally eliminate it but I didn't want I, I like to keep the car kind of looking somewhat original so I decided to keep this thing but this is really an op right now and if you look under here what I did is I just removed the duct and I'll show you where that duct uh, went originally. And I just kind of riveted this little plate to seal that opening. But anyway, this little hose here from this thermal or thermic valve, I think they were also known as, just runs down under the air cleaner assembly. And it connects to one of those ports that are part of this sensor. I believe those sensors are now expensive, but uh, they made so many of these vehicles with the uh, emissions uh, system, emission control systems. Uh, I don't know why I've seen some being uh, offered for like 45 or $50. That is um, crazy. But uh, anyway, this I believe, in, and don't quote me uh, on how this worked. I believe the other port was used for the distributor anyway. This hose, I guess, um, actuated the diaphragm inside the thermal valve, and that in turn opened the uh, door, which is a very basic thing with a, a pin running across here and a, and a metal door, and vacuum would actually open that door once the temperature reached um, whatever uh, operating temperature, I suppose. And, um, I have no idea how that affected the emissions, but I guess it did. But anyway, that uh, <clears throat> the duct under here that I eliminated, it um, it would be like about here, and it was connected with a, a metal tube, and uh, this one had a, a shield with another um, port, and that would transfer heat to that whole system to work. I don't know if it worked well, and I think it was only made from 1970 to, I don't know, the late 70s. But uh, again, mine has none of that stuff, and I don't think it worked very well in the first place. So anyway, if you were wondering if you still have some of that stuff uh, installed, if you want to get it working again, I guess you can. You have to have the sensor the hoses and the um, a, a, a working thermal valve but uh, basically that's what that does if you want to get yours working you have to have a working um, thermal valve and again this one i just kind of modified enough so it would it would look the part but it does it does not work and there's no i removed the the door from from in there from inside so Anyway, uh, a lot of unknowns when it comes to these cars, and uh, I'm no expert, so I'm always willing to, to be educated. So if someone has some answers about the system, please let me know. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.